Hi guys, welcome to .NET Techie and uh, I'm Deep Gautam. Today topic is, uh, is Angular 4 animation. So let's start with the Angular 4 animation. So before going ahead into the video, I will show you what exactly you will see end of the video, what exactly you will learn end of the video. So this is the things. So in Angular 4 animation, I have tried to show transition between two states. So this is let me show you click me to see animate so it's increasing in the size second thing entering and leaving into the states toggle the control so this fly in and fly out i am able to toggle this thing you will learn third thing you will learn over here let me refresh this piece and uh, you just notice the third step multi-step animation with the keyframes examples so the text is sliding all the controls are sliding and it is going back this is the beauty so these things you will learn and these things you can utilize in your practical world scenario wherever uh, is required in the project suppose add imply remove imply or uh, some kind of animation to so the any message bar or pop up or anything so this can be utilized in the practical manner very good so let me he show you theory parts how I have done it so what is the necessity in order to do these things so let's start with the actual things what I have done angular 4 animation it's a really awesome animation feature in angular 4 let's move ahead so first of all as you already aware about that how to create the angular 4 project if uh, like uh, uh, you are uh, not aware about it just watch my previous video it's a matter of just 4 minutes you watch that video and you will be able to create one angular 4 project and you can go get started with this so just max 10 to 15 minutes of hard work will give you these achievements what I have shown in the browser so let's see you just need to open an angular project in your favorite editor such as in my case it's a VS code then go to integrated terminal and type below commands. So what is the command in order to work in the animation? If it is Angular 4, you need to go ahead and type this command. If it is Angular 2, you not need to go and uh, import the animation because in case of the Angular 2, it already comes along with the Angular core package. So let's assume that it's Angular 4 now these days because it has been uh, separated in Angular 4. So just type the command npm install at the rate angular slash animations at the rate latest and save it. So it will download angular animation required files and save to your package.json file. Then import below line in module.tl. So it's about importing the animation module globally. So import browser animation module from at the rate angular slash platform hyphen browser slash animation then include below lines in the import arrays so whatever you are importing if it is a kind of inbuilt libraries or some geographical stuffs needs to be imported then you need to import those particular module adder into the imports array now you can generate components by using below commands so now, now we are jumping into the stage where you are generating the component to demonstrate the stuff. So I'm just, I have just generated three different component like transitions, keyframes, and uh, enter, entering and leaving. So by using this command, you can do so. So that's the beauty of the Angular CLI where you, in order to generate the component corresponding HTML file and corresponding CS file, it will do your job. NGG. G for generate and component is uh, what you would like to generate it and transition is my folder and transition is my component name. Once component is generated then go to particular component and uh, write the animation code and respective HTML. So what is the animation code we are gonna to write it. Let's look into the next slide. So animation is this nothing. Animation. Uh, so whenever you start the component. Uh, then you write the code like template, template URL, there itself, uh, style URL, styles, these things. Then there itself you declare animations, colon, then you start the bracket over there. Then trigger, so trigger is nothing but which will be used in my HTML. So this is the one unique ID name which is gonna to get used in my HTML. So state, what state you would like to perform from small to medium or large, whatever, and how small to uh, large is defined over here that is over here so let me show you over here so it's uh, this is my trigger name this is the state is small and in a small state i have given the style transform by scale one then second state is there where i am having the large definition 
so it's kind of just consider that it's a function which has the definition for small and which has the definition for large what it does is really it, it applies some styles and in transform that particular stuff so it applies here it is scaled by 1 here it is scaled by 1.5 then transitions how it goes from a small to large and vice versa if you want animate in how many seconds you would like to animate this uh, you would like to complete the process 150 milliseconds and so easy in this function provided in angular code how to use that trigger over here Yes, it's pretty simple. So this is the paragraph element where I have used the trigger and I have supplied a value called state. So what is the state whether it is small or large and then click me function I'm changing the state respectively. So this is about the theory stuff. Let's go to the practical step and see how it works. Okay, so we are there. So as I suggested that generate your required components. I have generated entering keyframes and and transition so let's go to the transitions and here is my transition component where this is the my code one more thing very important thing in order to work with the animation in any component you need to import triggers states style transitions animate and keyframes these are the specific library which provides you the functionality so you just imports i forgot to mention into the slide just take care of this point until and unless you will not import this step in the particular component it is not gonna to work out and the moment you import this you can play with the animation like anything and you will feel wow so yeah let's see over here so here after the style urls this is my selector which i'm going to use in my html this is my template url where my html has been written this is my css url where css file is there so i'm applying some kind of css in particular div and element that is there that definition is there this is the important things animation from here to there my simple animation is my trigger name and small and large is having the definition and how it transit from one state to other state and what time it takes and what function it calls that is over here in order to see as for our html we are having something called a state which we are supplying on the trigger so let's see what state is over here so i have declared state string is equal to small initially it is always small then the moment you click on that particular step this dot stays i'm making it the large vice versa so once it is small i'm making it to large once it is uh, like large i'm making into <coughs> small so this is uh, like uh, the theory about this transitions similar kind of theory i do have uh, practical i do have for this keyframes as well and entering as well so let's go to the keyframe and keyframe component what i am having actually so this is the keyframe this is my animation code over here which you can see in the keyframe component and uh, this is the code which i have written in keyframe what i am doing i am performing the event as well so on the animation you can perform the event as well so this is uh, code about the event this is code about my uh, animation which has the trigger fly in fly out and let me show you the html what is the html there in the keyframe so basically in the html i have three li and i am doing this so let me show you basically what exactly is uh, there on my <laughs> browser so in the browser this is the thing so this is the function which i explained toggle it is increasing and decreasing the size uh, increasing and decreasing the size this is the entering and leaving where it toggles and it goes out and in and this is the beauty of this keyframes and transition from one is so i'm playing with the animation with the multiple components if you require the code just comment on my video i will give you the full code as well so yeah guys thanks for watching this video and uh, please like subscribe and comment on my channel if you have any doubt please come back stay tuned with my channel i will be coming with the more animation stuff very soon thanks for watching bye